In the beginning, before humankind existed, various cosmic civilizations embarked on their odysseys into the great unknown. On the distant world of Samaris, a pilot named Mill spends a precious moment with his wife, gazing at their daughter Navine playing on the sandy shores. Poised to embark on a two-year mission that carries the hopes of many, Mills and his fellow voyagers seek a remedy for the ailment plaguing young Navine. As she struggles to produce a whistle, her father lovingly demonstrates his own method, offering her encouragement and support. During the mission, Mills skillfully pilots his spacecraft when he unexpectedly encounters an asteroid belt. Smaller asteroid fragments collide with the ship, inflicting extensive damage and sending it spiraling towards Earth. Crash landing in a marsh, Mills discovers that all other passengers have perished after being ejected from the spacecraft. He promptly issues a distress signal and assesses his surroundings, relieved to find the air breathable. Venturing further, he uncovers a sole survivor, a young girl in cryostasis. As he transports her to safety, Mills stumbles upon an enormous, clawed footprint in the mud. The text then reveals that, 65 million years ago, a mysterious visitor arrived on Earth. The following day, Mills continues his exploration of the eerie terrain, when he suddenly finds himself under attack by a cunning and dangerous raptor. Although he manages to defeat the beast, Mills stumbles upon a young girl named Koa, badly injured and frightened. Mills escorts her back to the safety of his ship, discovering that she cannot communicate in English, save for a few choice words. Mills knows that they must locate the escape pods to leave the planet, but they are stranded on a treacherous, seemingly insurmountable mountaintop. With little alternative, Mills decides to take Koa on a perilous journey to search for her missing family. In a touching moment, Koa watches a series of video logs from Mills' mission, becoming increasingly agitated and anxious about the fate of her loved ones. Just before the last log, Koa sees Navine, growing more tired by the moment, signaling to Mills and Koa that time is of the essence. While trekking to the mountain, Koa spots a small dinosaur struggling in the mud. Initially hesitant, Mills eventually relents and, with Koa's help, frees the creature. Their joy is short-lived, however, as a group of predator dinos swoop in and violently attack the defenseless animal, causing Koa to cry. As the disastrous events unfold before them, Mills glances up at the sky and glimpses a bright object moving toward their planet. As they make their way forward, Mills and Koa gradually form a close bond. He lightens up and playfully interacts with her, even giving her a piggyback ride, before showing her how to whistle, an activity he had previously attempted to teach Navine. When a storm hits, the duo takes refuge in a nearby cave. While Koa sleeps, a parasitic creature wriggles into her mouth, sounding an alert on Mills' security monitors. Swiftly acting, he rids Koa of the intruder, saving her life. But their troubles are far from over, an enormous predator dinosaur soon arrives and launches an attack on them. Fending off the beast takes all their might, but the pair ultimately find sanctuary from the creature's clutches by plunging into a deep hole. Mills desperately searches for a way out of the treacherous hole, knowing that time is running out. Koa, presents him with a video log of Navines, causing him to feel upset at first, but eventually he plays it, unable to turn away despite his sadness. Trying to find his way out, Mills uses his last resort, a small bomb to break through the cave wall. The aftermath leaves him trapped with a faint hope of escape. The two get separated while moving forward. Meanwhile, Koa's whistling echoes through the cave to let him know she's safe. Finally, she manages to get out of the cave. Despite the danger, she manages to evade pterodactyls and danger at every turn, expertly taking out a raptor in her path. When they get out of the cave, Mill sees the colossal asteroid hurtling towards Earth, with only twelve hours left for human survival. But Mills isn't one to quit, and he continues on his path, only to fall into the deadly clutches of quicksand. As he struggles to stay afloat, Koa comes to his rescue, pulling him out with a long branch before it's too late. Koa and Mills finally reach the top of the mountain, both gasping for air. However, their triumph is short-lived as Koa discovers the cryopods containing the bodies of her parents. Her heart sinks as she stares at them in disbelief, unable to process the sight before her. Bursting with frustration, she confronts Mills for keeping this from her. 
Mills, who understands Koa's feelings all too well, tries to explain his situation to her. Having lost his partner, Navine, in the same mission months ago, Mills knows what it's like to lose someone. He recalls his last memory of her, how angry she was with him for not being by her side when she needed him the most. Filled with remorse, he apologizes to Koa, promising to get them out of there. As they desperately attempt to activate their escape pod, the ship careens down the mountain, ultimately becoming disabled. In the midst of their predicament, two T-Rexes heedlessly approach them, making it clear that they are not alone. While Koa patiently waits in the ship for it to come back online, Mills valiantly fights off the ferocious beasts with all his might, taking out both of them in the process. Their fortunes change, however, when the earlier quarry, the cave dinosaur, returns with lethal intentions. Amid chaos and desperation, Mills courageously dashes towards a geyser, hoping to deploy it against the looming threat. Koa arrives just in time to help him, heroically stabbing the creature in the eye. Their gambit ultimately pays off, as the geyser suddenly erupts, effortlessly obliterating the beast's face. Mills and Koa barely manage to reach the operational ship in the nick of time, escaping the asteroid's catastrophic impact that annihilated the dinosaurs on Earth. They soar away from Earth's atmosphere, and embark toward an unknown destination. The credits roll, depicting the gradual redevelopment of Earth until it reaches its present-day civilization, a journey filled with intrigue and fascination. Here we reach the end of the movie recap. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did putting it all together. If that's the case, please don't forget to hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel to watch out for more exciting and informative recaps like this. Thank you for watching, and have a great day ahead.